call the culvert today, mister! Run, Lloyd! Run for your life! <laughs> hey! You ain't garbage! Yes! Superlative! I was worried, Lloyd! has a decay rate of one million Flebstroms per Blebnot. So if... <laughs> oh my. So if your station's Flebidium reactor is having a stage 5 meltdown and its coolant factor is 7, then how many... <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> station, what is with you? I thought you were going to help me with my homework. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, Lloyd, but I'm feeling a little, well, distracted lately. You see, I've been corresponding with someone on the galactic web, and I couldn't resist catching up on her latest email. Her email? You get email from a girl? Oh, she's not just a girl, Lloyd. She's all woman, the embodiment of beauty. Her name is Midge. She looks like a nice enough pen pal. We're much more than pen pals. Midge and I, we're soulmates. Ooh, she sent me yet another sizzling private letter. Here, Lloyd, read it. Uh, okay, if you want me to. Dear Stan. Stan? Stan's my chat name. Makes me sound rather dashing, don't you think? Uh, sure. Dear Stan, your latest email left me utterly engrossed. Specifically notable was your enthusiasm for seven-dimensional chess. I, too, am a seven-dimensional chess enthusiast. See, Lloyd? Soulmates! I also enjoyed your stimulating account of how you reestablished a failed computer data link all by yourself. It's true, I did. Using nothing but your bare hands in a big, dangerous wrench? Exciting, eh? And now to hear that you won the Intrepidville Marathon. It must have been quite a victory party, especially when you tap dance on that table and played the accordion in your big, strong arms. Huh? I understand women are wild for a man who plays the accordion. But you can't even hold an accordion. You don't have any hands or arms or anything. Oh, it's just a bit of harmless exaggeration. People do it all the time on the web. But why would you? Oh, please, Lloyd, let's be realistic. Midge is a graceful, living creature. I, on the other hand, am a Station 7000 Central Processing Unit. She would never be interested in me if she knew I were a mere computer. Well, she's gonna find out. Not a chance. Her space station is 70 million miles away. Oh. Tragically romantic, don't you think? Soulmates separated by space and destined never to meet. Sure you will. She's coming to visit. What? It says right here at the end of her letter. Ah, but it can't be. Afraid so. In fact, she says she can't wait to meet you face to face. But I don't have a face. Just a very large eyeball with two small antenna thingies on top. Oh, oh what am I going to do? Well, like you're always preaching to me, you could tell her the truth. I can't tell the truth. She'd know I was a liar. Oh, think how disappointed she'll be when she sees me as I am. <sighs> if only I could keep the illusion alive just while she visited. Wait a moment. I have the perfect plan. No, I will not dress up as some fellow named Stan and entertain your visiting honey. Oh, please, Douglas. She'll only be here two days. I don't care. I won't do it. Good answer, Doug. Lloyd Kurt and I told him the same thing. But when Midge arrives, she's expecting a living person to greet her. Oh, I'm completely out of options. No, uh I got an idea. You do? Yeah. When Midge gets here, I'll yell, Get out of here, woman! Station steals things and it pollutes! She'll run so fast, she'll never find out you're a computer! Any other plans? Sorry, Station. Too bad we can't just turn you into a person. That'd do the trick. Oh, in my wildest fantasy, I've imagined the very same thing. But alas, it's impossible. Or is it? Come again? I'm surprised I didn't think of this sooner. Station, I believe I can solve your problem. All we need... Is permission. So you're telling me that you can actually bring Station to life? Yes, Commander Nebulon, I believe I can. You see, it just so happens that biological tissue generation is a hobby of mine. I've never successfully created an entire living creature, per se, but I believe that if I could install Station's digital brain in an organic body of my making, the result would be a fully functional organism. Isn't it wonderful, Commander Nebulon? I'll be a real boy! Well, it's certainly an interesting idea, but why all this sudden interest in coming to life? Um... Because, Because uh, walking around like a regular guy is something Station has always wanted to do. Yeah, yeah that's it. He's it's always wanted to do. Well, I appreciate that, but we need Station to help run Intrepidville. If I disconnected you, we'd have no central computer system. Oh, but of course you would, Commander Nebulon. Simply reinstall my backup system, the Lou 2000. <laughs> oh, please, Commander Nebulon. Don't make me work with Lou again. He scares me. Oh, come now, Larry. I don't remember the last time we used Lou being such a negative experience. 
Yo, what's with the open box routine? Don't tell me you clowns have finally let me out of here. Ah, uh, yes. No, it all comes back to me. Oh, Commander, Lou may have a few personality issues, but I only need, uh, want to be a person for a few days. And hey, Mom, aren't you supposed to give employees a day off every now and then? That's right. I've banked over 5,000 hours in vacation time. I work nights and weekends without complaint. All I ask is till the end of Thursday that I'm yours again. Well, all right. If it's all right with everybody else. Very well. For station. <laughs> okay. Hooray! Oh, oh, right. oh, oh, thank you. Thank you all. You're welcome, station. Just remember, come Thursday night, no matter what, I want you out of your body and hooked back up to Intrepidville. Absolutely, Commander Nebulon. You can depend on me. Very well, then. It's settled. Gentlemen, to my bedroom! Behold, my friends, a common beaker, seething with dioxybiosynthetic peptides. Wow! It looks delicious! It's not lunch, Kurt. It's the primordial ooze. When poured into this mold and excited with precisely the right amount of electrical voltage, we shall, before our disbelieving eyes, witness the breathtaking creation of life itself! Sounds cool. You know. What'd he say? I missed it. Let the process begin! Yes! Yes! Excellent! Station, are you ready? As ready as I'll ever be. Then into the mixture you go! Good luck to me! Good luck indeed! Gentlemen, goggles! Lloyd, throw the switch! Our experiment is completed. And now, the moment of truth. I'm alive. I'm alive! I'm, I'm rather clumsy, but I'm alive! So that's what falling down and smashing one's head on the floor feels like. What an interesting sensation. It's called pain, Station. Ah, pain. Why, there's some more. Pain is generally considered an undesirable sensation. Yes, the novelty's worn off already. But I must say, I'm being bombarded with a cornucopia of much more pleasant sensations. Edward, the stringy fibres of your hair are a sensory safari for my fingertips. <sighs> Kurt, you smell more enchanting than I ever dreamed possible. Thank you. I use soap. And Douglas, this wall is delicious. What flavour is it? Uh, plaster, I suppose. Yum, yum. Uh, Station, I'm glad you're having fun being alive and everything, but if you want Midge to believe you're a real guy, you can't go around licking the walls. Oh, something of a faux pas, eh? <sighs> Acting natural in a brand new body is going to be more difficult than I imagined. Well, sure, but you've got a whole day to practice before she gets here. Maybe we could help you. Yeah, we can teach you all the stuff about being in a body that us regular guys already know. Like if a dude's got really cool hair, don't mess with it. Oh, how wonderful. Come on, fellows, it'll be a crash course in physical life. <coughs> Woohoo! Ah! Yep, it's gonna be a crash course, all right. Dunkirk, any word on Station? Yes, Commander, I've received word that Station has been successfully brought to life. And hey, Commander Nebulon, I plugged in Lou. So? What are you morons staring at? Get out of here! Go on, get a life! Oh, Commander, what have I done? Don't worry, Larry. All I need to do is establish who's in charge. Lou? Lou? Hey, did the green lady say Lou? Yo, yo, minty mama. I got you, Lou. I got it right here. I'm going to say this once, and once only, Lou. You are, for the next three days, in Trepidville's Acting Central Processing Unit. You will be obedient, you will be helpful, and you will not hurt Larry's feelings. Do I make myself perfectly clear? Yeah. Uh, tell it to the neck, sister. I got no time for this. I'm heading down to the cargo hold to watch the crane droids strip their stuff. So if you need anything, go ask someone else, capiche? Uh, way to take command, Commander? <sighs> Remember, Commander. It's all for Station. Just think, for the first time, he's living life. Just like one of us.
swallow. Oh, I suppose that would be part of the drinking process, wouldn't it? But hey, that's okay. You could walk, you could sort of drink stuff, you could pretty much make it through a door. I think you've got down all the basics. Oh, huzzah! Look at me, everyone! Look at me! I really am a real live boy! Hey! I don't know who you think you are, but I got standards around here. No shirt, no pants, no service! Goodness, I suppose that would be a breeze I'm feeling, wouldn't it? Close. I should have thought of that. Okay, boys, ready for bed? Yes, Commander. I'm lying down and ready to be tucked in. So, how did you like your day as a living person? Oh, it was wonderful. Thanks to Lloyd and his friends. And thank you so much for giving me this unique opportunity. Well, I'm glad I was able to. Yeah, 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 big deal. Meanwhile, as you gabba goes yakking away about your intrapersonal junkola, I got a honking sized pain in the woozle to deal with over at Sector 5. What is it, Lou? None of your business, Nebulon. Just keep your sentimental living creature yada 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 yourselves. Because it's boring my senses. Sheesh. I want you back, Station. Two days. Then I want you back! No problem, Commander. Okay, now for some sleep. All you gotta do is lie back, close your eye, and relax. Relax? Oh, I couldn't possibly relax. Tomorrow, Midge arrives. I can hardly wait. Wait! Wait! I'm not ready! Let me go! What are you talking about, Station? Midge's shuttle is gonna land any second! Here it comes now! Uh, I've got to leave! But you're about to come face to face! with your soulmate! If you scream and run away, she might not think you're cute. I can't help that. For some reason, the closer I get to meeting her, the more I feel absolutely terrified. Oh, yeah. That's the thing about meeting girls. Completely normal. Yep. Oh, yeah. Indeed. But look at me. I'm trembling all over. My pulse has quickened. Ah, I believe I'm perspiring. What else about meeting girls did you forget to tell me? Uh, I think what you said there pretty much sums up everything we know. Oh. The passengers are disembarking! <gasps> there she is! Oh, this is all a mistake. She'll never believe I'm a real person. Well, Station, there's only one way to find out. Go on, Let's Station. Go get it. Oh, I must make a good impression. Remember, you're a person, not a computer. Think physical. Uh, <clears throat> Midge! Stan? Stan? Oh, yes, that's me. Oh, Stan! <gasps> well, we did what we could. Maybe now's a good time to give him some privacy. Yeah, oh, yeah. I think you're right. My... well, that was quite the embrace. It was. Oh, of course it was. Everyone on Intrepidville loves my embraces. They're very physical. <laughs> oh. So, I think I'd like to stand up now and walk out of the landing bay. Oh, I'm very good at standing up and walking. Here I go. Look, a door. Ah, uh -uh. please allow me. <laughs> I bet you've never seen a man who could walk through a door like that, eh? The secret mage is not to wait too long before going through. Thanks for the tip. And so I tell myself, Stan, I said to myself, all this walking around on two feet is fine, but it's not that impressive. So this morning I got up and taught myself to hop on one foot. I'll do it for you right now if you'd like. No, Stan, that's okay. And you know, suddenly I'm not feeling very hungry after all. Not hungry, but food is delicious. Watch, I'll eat yours. Oh, mm, mm. Just wait till you see me swallow. Stan, please, don't. I have an odd sensation that you're not enjoying yourself. Well, no, I'm not. Ever since I arrived here, all you've been doing is showing off. First at the docking bay, then when you entered that gymnastics contest. I can't believe you actually wrestled those children at the park. Trounced the little moppets, didn't I? Yes, but Stan, from your letters, I thought you were, I don't know, I guess I thought we had more in common. Well, you're a real woman, and I'm certainly a real man. Yes, but you don't seem to be the man I thought you were. But what about my amazing abilities? Tap dancing, playing the accordion? Perhaps I should have been more forthright in my letters, but I never really cared about those things. It was the other side of you that really attracted me. I mean, do you or do you not enjoy seven-dimensional chess? Well, of course I do. Why haven't you been talking about that? I thought you'd be interested in something more impressive. I was impressed by the man in the email messages. Oh. Well, how do you feel about theoretical calculus? I love it. Databanks, server disk formatting and maintenance? It's my obsession. Oh. oh. Good morning, Lloyd. Station? Are you just getting home from your date? Indeed I am. And what a date it was. Why, just listen to me. 
I'm whistling a happy tune. Hey, all right. So things worked out after all. They certainly did. Midge ate all of her dinner, and we played chess for hours. Then we took a romantic stroll outside and calculated the velocity of 73 shooting stars. And to think that all I had to do was relax and be myself. Pity nobody gave me that advice. Sorry. Oh, that's all right, Lloyd. All's well that ends well. Yeah, now that you guys have hit it off, it's kind of a shame it will have to end. Oh, but that's the beauty of it, Lloyd. It doesn't have to end. Isn't she leaving tonight? Oh, yes, yeah, she's leaving. But I'm going with her. A quick shower and a shave, then we're blasting off to an eternity of bliss. But I don't understand. It's really quite simple, Lloyd. You see, I've asked Midge to marry me, and she's accepted. We're eloping. Isn't it romantic? <laughs> Ah, yes. Smooth as a pupa's bottom. Station, listen. You can't run off and get married. You can't leave in Trebbitville. You want a deal with my mom, remember? Yes, Lloyd, I did have a deal. But really, what sort of a man would I be if I let a mere deal stand in the way of true love? But Station, we need you here. My mom needs you. You can't leave us stuck with Lou. Everybody hates him. I'm sure Lou will do a perfectly suitable job. And really, Lloyd, I thought you'd be a little more happy for me. This is, after all, the most special time of my young life. But it just seems so wrong. I mean, you just met her. We've been corresponding for weeks. And it's weird. I mean, Midge actually agreed to marry you, even though she's alive and you're a computer? Technically, I am alive now. And that whole sordid computer past of mine, well, what she doesn't know won't hurt her. Wait a minute. She doesn't know you're a computer? You haven't even told her? It hasn't exactly come up. But really, it doesn't matter what form I take on the outside, does it? It's who I am on the inside that matters. But she doesn't know what's on the inside. Inside, you're a machine. Please, Lloyd. It's what I want. I've already booked a chapel on Planet Vegas. Wish me luck at least, won't you? You know I have to tell my mom. Do what you must, and I'll do what I must. All right. Good luck, Station. Thank you, Lloyd. And good luck to you. What? Station is eloping? That's what he said. Lou, get me Station's coordinates. Seal the exits and cancel all shuttle departures. I want him stopped, and I want him stopped now. Do it yourself, lady. I'm on a break over here. <sighs> Dunkirk. Right away, ma'am. Attention all hands, red alert, red alert. Be on the lookout for a large purplish man with one big eyeball who goes by the name of Stan. He must be detained. Repeat, he must be detained. Let's go! Here I am, my love. Stan, what's going on? I heard the announcement. Why are they looking for you? Uh, no time to explain. Come quickly. This is really quite a commotion. Yes, yes, very exciting. There he is! Got him! I've got him! He's in the docking bay. Ah, come on! Inside, quickly! Oh! Close the main door, now! No problems, no problems, we'll make it! I don't think we're gonna make it! I think we can, I think we can! But we can! We can, we can, we can! Well, so, uh, I told you we could. Report, Dunkirk. I'm... Afraid Station has escaped. Can you track his ship? No, ma'am, I can't. Because Lou won't help me. What's going on? Station went off with Midge to planet Vegas. Whoa. You think he's doing the right thing? I sure hope so, Eddie. Well, here we are. Free at last, off to a wonderful future together. It's a dream come true. Although I'd still like to know, why were all those people chasing you? Oh, yes. That. Well, you see, the truth is... I'm a very important member of the Intrepidville technical staff. They didn't want me to get married. But I say nonsense. Nothing is going to stand between my midge and me, so I've turned my back on them all. So you left Intrepidville forever? Just for me? Why, yes. But no matter. We can settle down on your station. I'm sure I can find a job. Perhaps I can stay home and take care of the children, eh? Is something the matter? It's just... When you first proposed, I didn't know you were throwing your life away from me. Oh, that's all right. You're worth it. Am I? Oh, Stan, the more I learn about you, the more complex you seem. So full of surprises, so good. Maybe too good for me. And I'm just not sure I could go through life pretending that I measure up to you. The truth is, Stan, you deserve so much better than me. Actually, Midge... Stan, there's something we need to talk about. Yes, indeed there is. Midge, the truth is... I'm far from a perfect man. In fact, technically speaking, I'm not a man at all. I'm a computer. <gasps> yes, my name is Station, and I belong to Intrepidville. That's why they were trying to stop me. Well, that explains a lot, including perhaps why I was attracted to you. You see, I'm a computer.
computer too. Military intelligence data gathering equipment. Midge! Oh my goodness, what an impressive piece of hardware. Yes, but when I received your first email, I assumed you were a person. So I've been masquerading as a person ever since. If only we'd been honest all along. Oh, imagine if one of us actually had been a real person and had sacrificed our entire way of life, trusting that the other was truthful. How devastating it would have been to learn that we'd been duped. Perhaps we should postpone our wedding, at least until we know more about each other. Besides the fact that we're both a couple of big fat liars. I believe that would be wise. Although I can't say I look forward to returning to Intrepidville, I'm going to be in pretty big trouble. Yes, me too. Of course, there's no reason we have to hurry back. No. And it is a lovely view. What say we just... <sighs> linger a while? Why, Station... I like the way you think. <sighs> Let's put our faces back on, shall we? I believe I'd like to smooch.